I'm not a mechanic, but I play one on YouTube, and four out of five mechanics surveyed hate electrical problems. And that's what I'm dealing with today with this Honda. Um, it's a really odd problem. It's been happening since I got the bike. I made it a little better by switching some parts, but uh, basically what happens is I'll be riding it for a while. Uh, in the beginning, it would go seven miles, and then it would die. And if I let it cool off, then it would start up and it would run fine again. And... Um, I assumed, I guess, that it was something in the ignition system, either bad coil, bad CDI box, or bad pickup. Now, if we turn to the book of Honda, chapter 8, uh, verse 12, it explains it as follows. As the crankshaft turns the rotor, the permanent magnets within the rotor cause an electronic pulse to develop in the primary coil of the stator assembly. A pulse from the pickup coil in the stator assembly is used to trigger the output of the CDI unit, which in turn triggers the output of the ignition coil and fires the spark plug. And if you draw it a picture, it looks like this. So the electricity comes from here. So there's a, there's a magnet spinning around on the crankshaft. There's a magnetic pickup detector called a pulse generator connected to the CDI unit. The CDI unit is connected to the coil. So if you're dealing with a uh, dying engine when it gets really warm, it's one of these things. Now I've already replaced the pulse generator, the uh, yeah, the pulse generator. That was my first step. That didn't do any good. Uh, I replaced the CDI unit and it got better. It was actually good for about a year and then it started doing the same thing again. So that leads me to wonder, is it the coil or did I get a halfway good CDI unit and then it went bad? Um, so my solution, and uh, my solution would normally be to get some new parts from Honda, but uh, you go to Honda and they say, we don't make those anymore. The bike is old. You should buy a new motorcycle. Actually, they don't talk like that at Honda. Their local Honda dealers are really cool, the ones that I've been to, but as cool as you can be when you're telling somebody that you don't have the part to fix their bike. So what I've done is I have bought, hello cat, I've bought this complete unit with a uh, it's even got a new rectifier in it but it's a CDI box which looks like that a new coil rectifier and it all bolts right in here under the gas tank I was wondering too if the heat from the engine was generating it or if it was if it was shorting out from the heat that's generated by the electricity I think the electricity generates the heat and uh, causes either the coil people a lot of people have suggested that it is in fact, the coil that's causing the problem. So I'm going to replace it and see if this thing starts up. And uh, the problem is, even if it starts up, and even if I can ride it 10 miles, I don't know for sure if it's fixed. And this this is the um, kind of a Frankenstein bike. It's a 1978 XR500 motor in a, in a 1982 XL500R frame. So the first job was to figure out what kind of electrics it has. It's got the 1982 electrics. You put a big, giant Wiseco piston in it, so, um, I was wondering if it was the piston seizing, but when it dies, I can actually kick it over just fine. It just won't start. So, uh, step one, of course, disconnect the battery. Step two, replace all this stuff. And step three is kick it and see if it starts. I'm hoping that this video has some instructional value. I mean, at least you're learning the, the basic components of an electronic ignition system. And if you've had this kind of problem before, let me know what caused it, if you were ever, ever able to figure out what caused it. In this case, this is just overkill. I'm just going to replace everything. Unfortunately, I'm replacing everything with used parts, so which to come from Honda Canada. So if all this stuff came off of a bike that had the same problem, then I'm equally screwed, but even more confused. So uh, we'll see. I'll, I don't think you need to watch me take it apart, but we'll see if I can get it to start afterwards. All right, new old Canadian parts have been installed. Let's see how she starts. Move the kicker around until it stops. A little bit more. Nothing. 